Hi, welcome back to the Courage to be Loose, uh, the third video that I am uh, hoping that will kind of put you over that hump a little bit, give you a little bit more um, kind of context, strategies, techniques on how to just do a little bit better with this, this feeling of getting tight, of holding back, uh, and not really playing the way you want to play. Uh, in the first video, I talked about sort of this tendency to want to just play it safe and how we just we default to the let's get it back let's roll it back we're kind of anxious about um, actually being tight and we and we just tend to fall into that mode um, and and we don't really break out of that sometimes and I know how hard that is especially when the match is close and it really matters to you and so so we you know it's getting sort of moving past this short-term view of I just need to get the ball back and kind of win this one and then I'll start playing loose again and uh, so so there's that part um, and then we talked about accepting errors and, ex and, and accepting the tension and not really getting uh, worked up about feeling anxious and having that adrenaline uh, and I mentioned also the dial this idea of, of having a dial so it's not black and white tightness is not sort of something that you're either really tight or really loose, but that we have this continuum, right? Uh, <clears throat> and, and we can start to adjust a little bit better uh, in matches. So what I want to do with you today is do a really concrete technique um, to help you just get more familiar with being loose. And I asked you to go out on the court and, uh, and try the different um, numbers, you know, getting used to what a, a five might be or an eight and kind of going up and down this this dial like an instrument. Um, so this exercise I think can be really helpful to, to, to help you train your body really um, to remember what loose and tightness is, okay? So, so just if you would, let's put our palms open and this is like a zero, right? We're, we're just kind of relaxing. Um, and we're gonna just gently close our hands. That's like a one, two, three, still pretty nice. Think of Federer ripping a forehand if you like. Five, Nadal, six, uh, seven, tighter, eight, nine, and 10, really tight. Hold it now. And now we're gonna just let go gradually, okay? Nine, still very tight. Eight, this would be like a match you're playing really tentative and tight. Seven, a little bit better. Six, five, four, really loose, three, Maybe two loose, certainly at two, one, and zero, and open them up. So and just feel the difference. So this is an exercise you can do, tense and release. It comes from Herbert Benson's uh, muscle relaxation, progressive muscle relaxation, to really train the body, to train the nervous system on letting go of tension. I like it because I think it can really help you feel more, that level of looseness, it, it becomes more familiar, you know. Uh, so when you're in a match and you can sort of drop into it a little bit, just again, it's subtle. This, you know, moving from a seven to a six or a seven to a five is really subtle, but it's but it's really um, significant. And for you, if you really, uh, you know, practice this a little bit and and do this muscle relaxation, you know, do this, um, you know, maybe once once every couple of days, you know, maybe three, four times in the week, or or you could do it every day. It won't take long. Um, this is just a kind of a short one here where you just go up and down the dial, right? So that, so try that. Practice this exercise a few times. Bring it onto the court. Sort of let your mind remember the feeling of looseness again. So this is the new technique to, to help ground that. Um, and, I, and I just want to leave you with the reminder that, you know, we're trying to, to get away from controlling our shots and, and, and forcing them. And trying too hard, right? So there's this looseness, this letting go feeling that we're trying to cultivate. Okay, so give that a go. Um, maybe, you know, if you like, comment down here on how that's going, how you feel you're progressing with some of this, you know, the acceptance and being more committed to going for your shots a little bit, the courage to be loose. And let's see where you're at and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, see you next time.